a river of molten rock flowing from one of Kilauea's active fissures smothered the Kapoho Bay area on Tuesday. The number of homes destroyed is not yet known, but the area encompasses 279 homes, all of which are feared lost, Hawaii County Civil Defense has put. The number of properties confirmed destroyed by the volcano at 117, many of which are in the Lilani Estates area, officials have said that Kapoho Bay itself has been filled in with lava that extended nearly a mile from what had been the shoreline. Spokesman said, what used to be the bay is now all lava bed, new land, almost a mile out into the ocean. Incredible footage taken from circling helicopters shows houses engulfed in flames. As lava pours into the ocean, releasing hydrochloric acid fumes known as blaze, lava haze, authorities began evacuating the Kapoho Bay area yesterday as the lava began heading for the area. The last remaining residents were out of the path of danger by Saturday, just hours before lava cut off all roads to the area. Reuters lava plumes as the tide devours houses and at the ocean oogs. This USGS map shows the lava flow in ocean and trees. Reuters a river of molten rock flowing from one of Kilauea's active fissures smothered the Kapoho Bay area. A few holdouts were airlifted to safety on Sunday leaving no more than a handful of people who refused to leave. Barbara McDaniel, an American retiree who moved to vacation land in Kapoho Bay five years ago, fled with her husband and their cat and dog. They are currently worried their home will be spared by lava but left inaccessible, leaving them with all the costs and no insurance cover, she said. Right now, I'm hoping that it burns down. If lava takes it, we're covered. Chilauea has been in an active cycle for the last 35 years, turning explosive on May 3. Since then, residents have battled a host of hazards presented by the volcano, including toxic sulfurous gases and shards of volcanic glass carried in the wind. No one has been killed by the activity, but one man was seriously injured when he was hit in the leg by a lava bomb. This is being cited as an unprecedented event, as there are two eruptions occurring simultaneously, the eruption at Kilauea's summit crater as well as along a six-mile string of fissures 25 miles down its east flank.